This is the Music History Today podcast for July 29th. On today's show, Graham Parson quits over principal, Cream debuts, and Cass Elliott passes away, and no, it is not from choking on a ham sandwich. First off, though, on this date in 1959, the Drifters recorded the song Dance With Me. Also on that same day, the Isley Brothers recorded the song Shout. In 1961, Dick Clark from American Bandstand held his first Caravan of Stars review concert. The Shirelles were the big act to play the show that day. Also in 1961, Bob Dylan was involved in a car accident. He would, of course, survive. In 1963, radio DJs were sent a letter from Capitol Records suggesting that they describe music in hot rod car terms in order to make the music seem cooler, I guess. In 1965, the Supremes started a three-week residency at the Copacabana nightclub in New York City where they played 16 shows a week, including three on Saturday and three on Sunday. In 1965, same day, the Beatles movie Help with England's Princess Margaret in attendance premiered in London movie theaters. In 1966, Bob Dylan was involved in a motorcycle accident this time. He spent the rest of the year recovering both mentally and physically. Also in 1966, Cream performed together for the first time. It was in Manchester, England's Twisted Wheel nightclub, and we discussed this concert along with their fabulous career on the Music History In-Depth podcast, which is already dropped by the time you're hearing this. In 1966, same day, Datebook magazine reprinted the John Lennon interview article that was originally in London's Evening Standard newspaper, where John was quoted as saying, quote, we're more popular than Jesus now, end quote. American media, of course, not surprisingly, used it to sell newspapers by turning it into a huge controversy. In 1968, the Birds were about to start a tour in apartheid-controlled South Africa, which meant playing in front of segregated audiences. Graham Parsons refused to do that, so he quit the group. In 1970, the Rolling Stones let their record contract with Decca Records expire and started their own record label. In 1973, Led Zeppelin had $180,000 stolen from their hotel safety deposit box after a show in New York City. What they were doing with $180,000? Yeah, that's a good question. In 1978, the group Television played their last gig. They would reunite in 1991. In 1979, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers finished their lawsuit tour. In 1982, Andy Taylor of Duran Duran married his wife, Tracy Wilson. In 1986, Paul Davis was shot during a robbery attempt. He recovered from his wounds. In 1987, Ben and Jerry's Ice Cream named the flavor Cherry Garcia after Grateful Dead lead singer Jerry Garcia. In 1990, Elton John checked himself into a hospital to deal with his many addictions at that point. In 1994, David Gilmore of Pink Floyd married his wife Polly Sampson. In 2005, the handwritten lyrics to the Beatles song, All You Need Is Love, sold at auction for $1 million. That would be U.S. In 2006, Kid Rock married actress Pamela Anderson. Didn't last. Also in 2006, singer Bobby Gillespie of Primal Scream married stylist Katie England. In 2011, Caleb Folliwell of Kings of Leon left the stage during a concert blaming dehydration. The band canceled the rest of the tour due to internal band issues. In 2015, the Eagles played their last concert with Glenn Frey. He passed away six months later. Also in 2015, the group Road Trip was formed. In 2019, Lil Nas X and Billy Ray Cyrus broke the record for the longest number one song on Billboard's Hot 100 singles chart when they spent their 17th straight week at number one. They eventually lost the number one spot after being on top for 19 straight weeks. Still the record to this day. In 2021, the Lollapalooza Festival began in Chicago, Illinois after being canceled the year before due to COVID lockdowns. Ticket buyers had to show proof of COVID vaccinations or a negative COVID test in order to go to that festival. 
In award ceremonies that were held on July 29th in 1987, the state of Michigan declared the day Four Tops Day. Albums that were released on July 29th include in 1969 when the Birds released Preflight. In 1977, Rolls Royce released Rolls Royce II in full bloom. In 1980, Hall and Oates released Voices. In 1981, Little Feet released Oi Oi. In 1996, Hoover released a new stereophonic sound spectacular. In 1997, Bone Thugs and Harmony released The Art of War, and Alice Cooper released A Fistful of Alice. In 1999, Jizza, or Genius, of the Wu-Tang Clan, released Beneath the Surface. In 2003, Little Feet released Down Upon the Swanee River, and The Carpenters released Carpenters Perform Carpenters. In 2008, Alice Cooper released Along Came a Spider, the Kingston Trio released Turning Like Forever, Rarities Volume 2, and Rick Springfield released Venus in Overdrive. In 2014, Eric Clapton released The Breeze, an appreciation of J.J. Kale, and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Hypnotic Eye. And in 2019, Beyonce released her album Renaissance. Singles that were released in the UK on July 29th include in 1966 when Manfred Mann released Just Like a Woman, in 1973 Elton John released Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting, and in 1977 Thin Lizzy released Dancing in the Moonlight. Meanwhile in America in 1970 the Kinks released Lola, in 1972 Electric Light Orchestra, or ELO if you will, released 10538 Overture, and also on that same day, Bread released The Guitar Man. In 1985, Tina Turner released We Don't Need Another Hero from, of course, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. And welcome to another edition of Thunderdome! Sorry, it's from the movie. Anyway, in 1987, Guns N' Roses released Night Train. In 1989, Tom Petty released Running Down a Dream. In 1991, Metallica released Enter Sandman, a classic. In 1996, Celine Dion released It's All Coming Back to Me Now. In 2011, Jane's Addiction released Irresistible Force. And in 2016, The Chainsmokers and Halsey released Closer. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast, where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame, or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 29th include Getty Lee of Rush, country music singer Martina McBride, Chris Gorman of Belly, John Sykes of Whitesnake, Singer Patty Schialfa, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, also Bruce's wife. Neil Daughtry of Ario Speedwagon. Randy Sparks of the New Christy Minstrels. Jazz guitarist Charlie Christian. Marshall Amp Company founder Mr. Jim Marshall. Keyboardist Mike Garson. Miles Hunt of The Wonder Stuff. Wayne Morris of Boys to Men. Carlo Paul Santana of Paper Lace. Composer Sigmund Romberg. Songwriter Dean Pitchford, country music singer James Otto of Music Mafia, country music singer Ashley McBride, singer Alanya Jones, rapper Young Ads, rapper Day Day, singer Kat Dahlia, jazz bassist Mikel Benita, guitarist Martin McCarrick of the group Therapy, and Zorba the Greek and Serpico film composer Mikis Theodorakis. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 29th include composer Christopher Simpson, who passed away in 1669 at the age of 64. Composer Christoph Reinach passed away in 1797 at the age of 48. The composer who was also the Sultan of Turkey from 1789 to 1808, 
Salam III passed away in 1808 at the age of 46. Composer Micah Hawkins passed away in 1825 at the age of 48. Composer Jonathan Huntington passed away in 1838 at the age of 66. Composer and also the son of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Franz Xaver Wolfgang Mozart passed away in 1844 at the age of 53. Composer extraordinaire Mr. Robert Schumann passed away in 1856 at the age of 46. Composer Augusta Panzeron passed away in 1859 at the age of 63. Composer Adolf Mueller passed away in 1886 at the age of 84. Composer Alexandre Luigini passed away in 1906 at the age of 56. Composer Alexander von Felitz passed away in 1930 at the age of 69. Composer Dorian Le Gallien passed away in 1963 at the age of 48. Composer Paul Jardigny passed away in 1966 at the age of 44. New York Philharmonic Orchestra conductor John Barbaroli passed away in 1970 at the age of 70. Composer Jonelle Perlia passed away in 1970 at the age of 69. Mama Cass Elliot of the group The Mamas and the Papas passed away from a heart attack in London, England in 1974 at the age of 32, not from choking on a ham sandwich. That is just an urban myth, fake news, whatever you want to call it these days. Composer Wesley La Violette passed away in 1978 at the age of 84. Glenn Goines of the group Parliament Funkadelic passed away in 1978 from lymphoma at the age of 24. The manager of The Who, Peter Meaden, passed away in 1978 from a barbiturate overdose at the age of 36. Violinist Jan Tausinger passed away in 1980 at the age of 58. Musician, conductor, and namesake of the Warring Blender, Fred Waring, passed away in in 1984 at the age of 84. Songwriter Gordon Mills passed away from cancer in 1986 at the age of 51. Pedal steel guitarist and producer Pete Drake passed away in 1988 at the age of 55. Composer William Matthias passed away in 1992 at the age of 57. Eddie Guzman of the group Rare Earth passed away from diabetes in 1988 at the age of 24. Band leader Les Elgart passed away in 1995 at the age of 77. Jason Thursk of the group Pennywise passed away from an accidental self-inflicted gunshot wound in 1996 at the age of 28. Session jazz guitarist Chuck Wayne passed away from emphysema in 1997 at the age of 74. Anita Carter of the Carter family passed away in 1999 at the age of 66. Hubie Hurd of the God Squad passed away in 2004 at the age of 73. Cabaret singer Hildegard passed away in 2005 at the age of 99. Bassist Art Davis passed away in 2007 at the age of 72. Singer Ishmeet Singh Sodhi was found drowned in 2008 at the age of 19. Trumpet player Roy Caton passed away in 2010 at the age of 83. Songwriter Gene McDaniels passed away in 2011 at the age of 76. Jazz drummer Idris Muhammad passed away in 2014 at the age of 74. Trumpet player Tomas Stanko passed away in 2018 at the age of 76. Singer Oliver Dragojevic passed away in 2018 at the age of 70. And rapper Malik B passed away in 2020 at the age of 47. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 30th, when in 2006, the TV sensation in Britain, Top of the Pops, ends its original run. Thank you very, very much for listening, if you're listening on the podcast, or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. 
You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcast from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jameritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching. <laughs>